So today we're putting together Mulan, which I know you can't see my desk yet, but she's going to be similar in size to Cinderella and to Snow White. So I wanted to give you kind of um, an idea of how big things are. Uh, so this is 48 inches, so four feet. My daughter is five and a half, and she's 47 inches. So these characters are bigger than her, just slightly taller. Um, but you can see, like, at a, at a dessert table, um, this LOL doll is 30 inches. Um, Snow, uh, Cinderella is, I think, 26 inches. This one is 30 inches. So you can see even though this one's not quite as big, Cinderella is still sitting on, on a table like this. It's pretty sizable and takes great pictures. So just kind of get a feel for, you know, where you want to be. This, this Snow White's not even in the picture because her head's too tall. <laughs> but, um, all right, so we're going to be doing Milan this size. So she's standing straight up as, as well as I am, so you can see how tall she is. All right, so I'm going to switch cameras so you can see my desktop. And let's make sure that you can really see this well. So I'm going to move everything up this way. Okay. So what we have laid out right now, and what you want to do to get started, is I plugged in my glue gun already, so it's this one from Amazon. So it's on my Amazon shop list. Um, I like this one because it's a big glue gun, a uh, big stick, and I don't need to refill often. So we're going to be using that to put it on the foam board, and so that's a lot of glue at that point. Um, so uh, you don't need to turn it on just yet, but just have it plugged in and be ready. Um, I like to use scotch tape, double-sided tape, and you'll need a knife blade, so I use Cricut's knife blade, and a, and a pencil. You don't need a mechanical pencil, but you need a pencil because we're going to be tracing the outline on the foam board, okay? All right, so first thing is, she's 48 inches, and my self-healing mat is 24 by 36, so obviously she doesn't fit on this whole thing, but you can see a big portion of her. So I laid out the black background, it's in multiple pieces, and I laid it right side up. So all the colors are gonna sit on top of this. But what you wanna do right now is you wanna flip it over to the back because we're gonna be taping the back together and the back, the tape will be covered because it's gonna be on the foam board, okay? So we want to, um, just flip everything over and then we'll tape it together. And so let me just flip up my, my top, which is not on the mat. Okay, so now once we have it flipped over, what you wanna do is get your regular tape. And once I run out of my tape, I'm gonna get a tape dispenser. People always ask me why I use these little, <laughs> these little things, because I have so many um, and, and, and I'm on the cheap side when it comes to materials, because um, I buy so much and I hoard it, so. I have a lot before I'm gonna switch over. I don't use the, I have one of those big tape runners. Um, I find it, it hard to, um, to control it. So I don't like it as much, so anyway. So this is how you're gonna tape it together. Take two pieces at one time, lift up one, and you wanna lift it and push it against the piece, okay? So you, you know, I like assembling those little squares if you're watching Design Space, that tutorial. Um, in this one, we had to shift it over a little bit, but it's easy to line up like this whole line. It's, it's much easier to line it up when you do those squares. So, all right, so tape that down. The only place that I really wanna make sure we tape really, really well is at the edges right here, because this is the only part that's gonna show for the seams. Everything else is going to be covered with other other colors on top. So you just want to make sure that at the edge that you tape it really, really well. And that way it doesn't move at all. It's not flimsy. It doesn't catch any light. It's really um, taped down. All right, so let's tape these two guys. And then these two guys match up here. You just wanna kind of make sure that you're in there well, and then tape it down. Now again, the the edge 
is where I'm concerned. So I want to make sure I tape it really well right there. So I'm just going to take a little piece. And you can't go over, okay? Because if you go over with the clear tape against the black cardstock, you're going to be able to see it. So just make sure you don't go past the black, okay? Um, same thing down here. I just want to make sure I tape it right there. Okay. Now we want to tape the feet together, the legs. So again, you want to just hold one side up, push it against the other one, and then kind of hold it while you tape it down. And then I'm going to go this way and tape all the way to the edge as much as I can. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. And then once I tape this, I'm going to move her down so that we can see the top of her. But I love this piece. So I'm trying to think of where we have the seams. So we have seams, uh, we have one seam in her hair, but we know that, um, We know that the black glitter cardstock hides the seams really well, so I don't even think you can really see it, but I'll show you. Um, all right, so this is the top of her head. Um, so same thing, you wanna just push this one up against this, hold it while you tape it down. Um, and is there any other seams? Oh, we did break up the skirt deliberately, so there, her skirt is in two pieces, but it looks really natural. Um, and that's it. So she is very much like seamless. I don't think you're gonna notice it. So I'm gonna say she's seamless. The only seams that you're, you may notice is at the edges. And they probably add up to about an inch. So it's, it's not a lot. All right, so I'm gonna move her down some more because we still have her buns. And these are our last two pieces, okay? All right, so let's get this down. Now with this one, you wanna get the edge here and the one at the top up here, as well as this one. So, as 
as I was saying, the hair goes down like this. So we want to make sure this is a perfect fit with the outline. So it'll be easy to put down. So I'm tempted to put down this half and then we'll lift it up and make sure we tape it along the seams, okay? So let's get our double-sided tape. take a big piece of tape and run it along this seam to make sure that it stays flat as possible so we don't see that seam. Okay, and in these little places where it's coming up a little bit, I like to use the glue dots and what I do is I just stick it on my finger and then I'll um, make sure that it only covers the tip and see how it stays down. And normally I would just flip it over and do all the taping, but because I really wanted to make sure I got the seams and put it down properly, um, that's why I did it like this. Okay, whoops. Let me get this little guy right here. And then there's just one more over here. All right, the next thing I want to point you to is, do you see a seam running down her face? I mean, obviously, we haven't put anything down, but there's a seam right here. So I like to do the face, right? So here's the face. And then I do a copy of the face and make it all black and contour everything out. That way, this black, sits on top and it sits on top of the seams so there's no seam that would have been running through the eyes right here okay and that would be the same thing for the eyebrows and for the mouth I mean on this one there isn't that seam there but very easily it could have been so you just want to make sure you do that um okay so let's let's put her down we're gonna move it and we're going to piece it together and make sure that we like where everything sits before we tape anything else down. Um, okay, so here's her skirt. Now her skirt was originally like, kind of like this, but I just made it another piece. And the reason why is because I think on, oh, I thought it was on one of the princesses they had a skirt like that, but I don't think anyone thinks that's weird. I could have just sliced it because I know with the red, it also hides the seams really well, but um, I don't know. That was just the way I decided to do it on this one. So here we go. Let's put down her legs. And um, the file, I got it on Etsy and the designer is Lemon Company Studios. And they did a different color scheme for, um, for Milan. So I changed it. I think originally, I don't even remember what color they used, but I kind of wanted to do my little, I felt like I've, I've worn like Aoyais, which is the Vietnamese traditional dress, which is very similar to the Chinese one. But, um, I feel like these, this color scheme is more, um, more common. All right, so we're just putting everything down just to make sure we like the spacing of everything. Oh, there. I think she's so cute. All of them are really cute. And I never thought I would do a 48 inch one, but, um, I'm coming up on one year of doing YouTube videos and I just felt like I wanted to do it. Um, and so here we are. <laughs> um, okay, I might have to look up what this image is supposed to look like. I don't remember at this point. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, I 
was wondering where that black came from. Okay, there we go. Oh, the other question that I got a lot on these uh, 48 inch Disney girls is the skin color. So give me a second and I'm going to pick up. I'm going to show you what I buy. And nor so it's from Michaels and it is usually $20. So I always make sure that when I see it on sale, I buy a ton of them. Um, it goes on sale for $5. And sometimes during the $5 sale, it also has an extra 20% off. So it's, you know, in the $4 range. So I definitely start hoarding some of that. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done. I'm just missing. Oh, no, I'm not. Here we go. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Um, I feel like this needs to move down a little bit. more even. We'll fix the collar. Um, do we like everything else? I think everything else looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to scoot her up. Let's do the legs and the feet. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so sorry, I'm off camera. I'm just grabbing some scratch paper. So I'm just going to tape this down. So let's use the scooter in so you can see my workspace. Okay. I want to make sure that the, that the, oh, it would be good if I opened it. Um, I want to get the tips. And then I'm just going to use double-sided tape for the rest of it. And, you know, the nice thing about doing a 48-inch piece is that every little piece is humongous. Like, even this flower petal, like, they're huge. None of the pieces are small because it's such a big, big character. So you just want that balance of big pieces, but not too big where you need to slice it. <laughs> All right, so that's down. Let's do the other side. Now, um, I also get the question of why I don't use like more glue on these pieces. And it's because I know that these pieces are more decorative and they're usually going on the kick table. And then um, if anything, it goes into the kid's room um, after the party. And so, and it's, and it's usually on the wall or um, propped up somewhere. So it's not being manhandled a lot. So this double-sided tape and the glue tape is plenty to keep it um, intact. Okay, so that's down. Let's do the skirt. And I've had, because I always do sample pieces to make sure that I like the way it looks. And then also just to make sure that I understand the packaging and all of that too. Um, some of my pieces I've had for a year now, and they've lasted through my Michaels classes, because I teach at Michaels, or I used to before the quarantine. Um, I used to do off the mat, so I would bring in all my characters to show people, like, don't make this mistake, this is how you do it. So it's lasted through my classes. Um, my daughter's five and a half. It's lasted through her and all her friends when they come over for a play date and they want to take pictures or just touch it and be uh, in love with the princesses. So this is definitely, it will hold up. All right, 
so let's put this down. And this piece, it might be easier if I just run my show you before I forget. Okay, so the purple is from Joann's and it's the American cardstock. I buy this when it's 70% off the um, open shelf, so it becomes way affordable. This is the magic paper that everyone always asks me about. So it's $20. It's a lot of paper. Um, and I have used a wide range because when I get a princess set order, I don't want all the princesses to look, to have the same skin color. I will use a wide range of this here and it looks great. So you can always go back through my Instagram and look at all those pictures and see. Um, the other thing that I like to buy is this, it's Cricut Glitter Cardstock, but it's the Pastel Sampler. It's beautiful. I love the yellow, the yellow and the light blue I used for Cinderella. Um, the pink here for her um, little ribbons or whatever um, is from this. All right. And it was on sale for $5 and it was out of stock. So I will let you know when it's back in stock. All right. So let's finish this up. <laughs> And all the other materials, so my Amazon shop are all things that I buy and, and use. So um, you can always look there. I have everything by topic so, or project. So this would be off of that. I have the glue gun and I have um, some materials. Let's tape this down. Um, oh, the other reason why I don't like using the hot glue gun on paper is because the red won't show so much, and this purple is so thick, it's like super expensive. I don't think that the glue gun would damage it, but I would hate for it to, to damage it. Sometimes it's so hot, you can see like it's scorched through the paper. Um, sometimes it warps the paper. Uh, so I'm just, you know, I like my double-sided tape. It's just so big, it's hard for me to get a, a feel for where everything is. Okay, I'm going to move her down a little bit so we can see more. for the smoothie to come out so I hope that after it comes out that we're gonna see more Mulan parties because I get a lot of requests for Snow White, Jasmine, Ariel. I don't think I've ever gotten a Mulan one. <laughs> All right, this one's gonna bother me so I'm putting a little bit of that glue dot right there. Um, and then let's get these pieces down. Now sometimes when it's hard to pick up, I do like using this thing. It's the We Are Memory Quick Stick. So it has like putty on one side and it's sharp on this side to like move things. So I just pick it up like that. Okay. <gasps> Feel like we'll go. All right, there we go.
just going to scoot her down some more. And I kind of put it down lightly so that even though the tape's there, I could still move it. I don't know if you were able to see that right now, but I felt like, you know, I was able to move it quite a bit. The other thing is if you end up doing like a princess set for someone's party, um, I also like to change up the lip color. So I know these girls are on the younger side. Um, so I didn't do glitter cardstock for their lips. Um, but just, you know, do different shades so that it doesn't look so, so the same. Okay. You see how it's still moving even though it's on the paper? So just, you know, don't push it down until you're ready to commit. <laughs> All right, so let's do this one. Now this paper is so hard. Can you hear it? It's beautiful. I love the color. But when I cut this on the maker, I cut it on glitter cardstock and I cut it twice. It will, you will not get anything if you just run it through once. Now with the skin, make sure that your hands aren't greasy or wet. This cardstock is so light in color, you're going to damage it. So just be careful when you're handling this. Um, I've ruined it before. So when I do, I just put the, the one down and then what I do is I cut another piece and then I just put it right over it. All these um, quirks with the paper. <laughs> Alright, so this one I'm just going to put right here because it's kind of thin. But see, look, it, this little piece is barely, there's barely anything there. It's so stable. This cardstock is beautiful. And do you see how the tape came out a little bit right there? I just take this little guy on this edge and push it in a little bit. Okay. Now let's do this cup. And the edges I'm going to get with the tape. This side, I'm going to hit it with the glue, the glue tape. And I always save my scrap for this. Might as well, right? Okay, so she's Three quarters of the way done, right? So I'm gonna slide her down some more. Okay, so now we have this part. Let me, let's do her face first because her face, because of the way the hair is done, um, we know exactly where the face goes, okay? So I'm tempted Let's tape down, hmm. I'm just going to move this out. So this is her eye, this is 
this by let's see now. Okay. So I'm just gonna turn this around. I'm gonna make sure that I hit the tape where the edges where it's pointy and thin. And this is a perfect fit with this piece. So you should be able to like, for me, I'm gonna line up the ears. Oops. I'm like having trouble today. Um, let's see, how can I line this up better? Why is this so difficult today? All right, let's see. Okay, there we go. So it's totally lined up and you can see like what I was saying, this is, there's a perfect fit for her face. So I'm just going to now get the back side of this and So same thing, just with the tips. I want to make sure I get it to here. And then the rest, I just do this flow. All right, so now let's just kind of Push her into where she's supposed to go. Um, okay, and then this little piece goes right here to her ear. And then there's another piece right here for her to make her eyelash stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to grab that piece right now and make sure I know to go like here. Is that right? Yeah, like this. So I'm going to flip it over a bit. And then, does that look right? Yeah. I am so bad at putting pieces together. Okay, here we go. I think it's this. I think it's what we originally had. Okay, so that makes her eyelash. Her ears are down. Okay, um, this is outside on top. So I'm going to hit this whole thing like this. Let's do her neck. Let's see, let's get these pieces down to make sure we like the spacing of everything. And then like that, and then like that, and that one. I think that looks good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna pick up this piece. I have the cap on. Okay, I'm gonna tape. Let's get this down.
fingers are sticky. Okay, let's do this piece. in her mouth but everything else is all down so I'm tempted I'm gonna show you really quick what it looks like she's gonna look a little bit like a monster without the actual eyes in there but look how beautiful look at her shirt it's so shimmery and see this skirt or this side I don't think it looks like it's weird or that it shouldn't be another piece right that's the only seam and her hair, which you can't see at all. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna do the eyes because you already know you saw how I pieced everything together with the tape. I will take pictures of it when I'm done. I'm gonna show you how to do the foam. So let me put her down for a second and let's get the foam ready. So when we're getting the foam ready, um now's the time to turn on your glue. So turn it um on low. And then I'm going to flip it. And there we go. So we're back. I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't ruin these pieces. Okay. So what you're going to need in this portion is your pencil. So here's my pencil. You're going to need your knife blade. Those two things. And that is it. So I'm going to move everything else out of the way. I'm going to bring my foam board. Now she's 48 inches, so we're actually gonna need more than one foam board. So just think of this as the, her body, and then this extra piece, we're gonna glue it to up here, and that's gonna be her head, okay? So let's do the bottom of her, of her body first. So let's get our pencil out. And I, so I buy this board from the Dollar Tree. It's a buck. <laughs> um, I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's super sturdy. It keeps them propped up. You can see all my work back there. Um, it cuts well with the with the knife blade. So I always buy that. Now you have an option of buying black or white. And I almost always buy the black one because my background is always black. So I want to make sure that when there's a seam and it shines through or whatever, you want it to shine through to the black, not a white one. So that's why I buy the black one. Occasionally, though, you will have a need for the white one. But I would say for the most part, I buy 95% black. So with this outline, all we're doing is we're going to be cutting inside of the line. It's going to be super easy, super fast, and it's going to work perfectly. Okay, now there's a little hole right here. I'm not going to cut out that hole in the foam. I'm going to keep it like it should be there. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to, at this point, uh, we can do it later. Let's just move her off the mat and let's, um, let's cut. So can you see the line? So 
So the pencil mark is there. It's kind of hard to see because it's, you know, it's pencil and it's on black. So I'm going to do my best. Um, but don't worry about it. As long as you're on the inside of the line, stay as close as you can, but stay inside. Then you're not going to be able to see it at all. So I'm just going to start here. With this knife blade, I will say that you want to do, to get a clean stroke, you just do one line, one straight line. And then where I'm going to turn, right here, I'm just going to start a new one. Okay, and so you see I'm not going really slow or anything. At least I don't think I'm going slow. You see how I'm inside the line? I'm gonna pop this out. See how well that cuts? I'm just gonna put this down for now. Now at the bottom, you just want to make sure you you don't want to go inside the line for the bottom because it's gonna sit. She's she's pointy toes. She's gonna to be sitting on that board. So you just want to give it extra room. So I'm just going to I'm gonna cut on the line actually. This one. I'm gonna cut that out so that I can see and I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I guess I'm gonna just trim this a little bit. Now you see how well that cut? Um, because I don't do off the mat all the time. I have a lot of them, but I don't do them like on a daily basis. So my knife blade was getting dull and I didn't realize it, but you'll know when it doesn't cut all the way through that you need to replace your blade. It was still cutting so well that I didn't think that that was the problem. I just wanna point out that I know I sound like an idiot for not realizing. <laughs> to see where I need to go. Okay. Almost, almost there. everything, all my crafting on this mat. I love that I can trim my vinyl, cut my foam board, all that stuff on here. So we're going to put her over here just to make sure that she's all good lined up, which I think she will be. Okay, everything looks good. 
So now we're going to see this part. I'm going to line it up with this so that when we glue it together, it, it'll be easy for it to stay together. It'll be straight. We'll have a lot of glue right there. Let's put her down. Okay, so now let's trace on this board. I know you can't see me right now. So this is extra board from the last one that I did. So it's not going to cover the head completely. I'll show you what that outline looks like. I'm missing a bun up here, which is totally okay. All right, so I'm going to move her out of the way. And then we'll tape it together. What did I do with my oh. <laughs> Where did everything go? Okay, here we go. There's one bun right here that I'm about to cut. just going to glue these two pieces together. So the way you want to do that is you want to make sure it's flat for one and we're just going to glue it right here. So you're going to take your glue gun and it's okay if it kind of moves apart. We can get the glue in between so that's fine. Now we're going to hold it together and make sure it's, it dries together. And then we're going to flip it over and do the other side to make sure it's really, really, really on here good. And the thing is, we know we're going to put the whole piece on too. So it does just everything kind of layers and works itself out really well. So I'm just going to try to move this along a little bit. <laughs> Fan this sucker. And, um, well, I'll do my end, my little end piece here while we're waiting. Um, please comment. If you have any comments or questions, post it here on YouTube, on Instagram, on YouTube. No, sorry, or Facebook. And um, if you have any special requests, which I've gotten quite a few lately, just send me an email. It's ann at theuselesscrafter.com. It's A N. Or leave a comment, tell me what theme you're doing, what you're looking for. I know the cricket is hard to learn. Um, and you can see something that I do and you think that you can apply it and then you go do your project and you run into a problem. So, and this is a little bit stuck to my mat. Yeah, just wiggle it and you're good. Okay, here we go. So this side we're just going to glue down as well. Now, 
on the back. Sometimes it doesn't cut well. That was the problem I was running into when my blade wasn't cut sharp. You could technically peel off the black and you would have this white and I'll show you what that looks like, okay? Like this, do you see? So you see where she ends and sometimes people feel like it's a cleaner look. The problem is when you pull that black layer away, that is just one more piece that makes it less sturdy. It's still fine, you see Rainbow Bright is still standing up but I feel like out of all my characters, she's the flimsiest because of that. And also she's very slender. So, it, you know, there's only so much foam on her. So just keep that in mind in what you're doing. Like I could do whatever I want to that sugar skull one because it's just one big rectangle and it's very sturdy. So you could take that off and it's not a big deal. So just kind of know, know your product, know what you're dealing with, and then you can make that decision then. she'll be ready to go. Almost. But the nice thing with the self-healing knot is when I flip it over and if it's a little sticky, it's fine. I can still peel it up. So, all right. I'm going to let that go. So the way I do it is one, just make sure that nothing is showing, we cut properly, which I have a feeling that we did. I think it's because of where I glued it, the, the upper part, that I messed up. Okay. Now I think we're good. Okay. So once you're good with everything, okay, then we're going to start gluing her down. So I'm going to glue one leg at a time. Glue this side. Then I like to flip it over because now keep in mind that her legs are glued down, right? So now I'm going to flip her back all the way to where we glued it. All the way back here. And then I'm going to glue it from here. So make sure your edges are good. And then slowly roll her down. And this is why I like this glue gun, because it has the big, um, the big glue stick. I'm not constantly feeding it another glue stick. But I only use it for this, just to be clear, because the, the point on top is really thick. So it's not going to be good for your finer projects. Okay, that's it. I'm going to flip it over. So she's 
super cute. I know she's funky without the eyes. I'm gonna do that right now. But I'll put her right here so that you can see. My little crew. All right, bye guys. See you next time.